securing Alpha. A secure. What is going on YouTube? Exus or God here bringing you a gameplay on the map combine. We are playing domination. We are in a six-man party and we are destroying teams right now. Well, I say teams. People playing solo, noobs, Christmas noobs. Just basically maxing out XP, getting a lot of score, um, getting high kill to death ratios, raising my KD, raising my level, raising my nuclears, just raising everything. Everything's just raising, guys. Honestly, if you want to play with us, if you want to play, you know, if you want to play domination with us, if you want to play domination with some of the clan members or whatnot, just. Add us as a friend, and you can see our names at the end of the video, just add us all as a friend if you want to play. Preferably me, because some of them might not accept you as a friend. <laughs> Obviously, I'm XSO God, so you know, if you wanted to play Domination, just add us, add us as a friend and send us a message, you know, I'll invite you. I'll invite you to play Domination, whatever. I'll invite you to play, I'm not even sure how I died then, but the VMP is disgusting, man. VMP is such an overpowered weapon, honestly, guys. Like, it is ridiculous how overpowered the uh, weapon actually is. But yeah, you can see how effective it is playing in a six-man party, though. We are on... I, th I think in the first round, I get something like 30 kills. I mean, I know 30 kills is not a huge amount of kills, but for uh, someone using non-lethals, you know, so that's 30-odd 30, 30 kills with my gun. The first round, I know it's a small map as well, but 30 kills in the first round of uh, domination is quite a lot of kills. I don't even know why I challenged that. I was that was just stupid. I should never have challenged that. It's because I wasn't even going for anything in particular this game apart from score. Uh, I was just trying to get as much score as I could possibly get, as much XP, because I am obviously still trying to level up. I'm only. I'll, I'll be going on to 5th Prestige very soon, so, you know, I just want to be able to get to Master um, as quick as I possibly can. This is, I think this is the first Call of Duty game or the second Call of Duty game that I've not got to Master Prestige before Christmas. Uh, the only other Call of Duty was Call of Duty Ghost. I didn't actually manage to get to max level um, on Call of Duty Ghost. Uh, but I only played a day on that game, so, you know, I never made it to max level anyway. But yeah, um, and then this Black Ops 3, I'm only, I'm only 5th, 4th uh, Prestige, 4th Prestige on Black Ops 3. Usually by now I would probably be Master, but I haven't really, I haven't been playing, I wouldn't say I haven't been playing the game that much. I haven't, I haven't, I've played when, you know, I've played when I've had time to play, and, um, yeah, I do. Most of the time when I'm playing, I do actually try to, so you know, get good gameplays or something to upload to YouTube, so you guys can obviously see and watch, and um, sort of learn or sort of watch, see how we play, see you know, see how we get all our kills and how sort of we move around the map because uh, a lot of players are actually. Well, I'm gonna use the word clueless, as in. The way that they move around the map's just so bad. Like, um, they'll challenge stupid gunfights that you know that you're never gonna win. Like this right here, that was stupid of me. I should never have run in like that. I could have easily got killed then. And uh, I'm gonna say I thought I thought I'm gonna challenge that guy behind there. Yeah, there, there's been a lot of times. Excuse me. <sighs> There's been a lot of times where I've challenged the person behind that vehicle just to my right there now and they've been in a head glitch and I've been in that building and they've outgunned me every single time. I always get killed off that head glitch and I still challenge it all the time. I don't know why I do it. It's just stupid because they're already pre-aiming there. You've got to move out of cover, aim on them and shoot them. And by the time you've done that, they've already started shooting at you, so... I mean, I know it's only a second or two difference, but even still. Oh, just capping the C flag there, guys. Um, obviously, because it's ended round. If you if you can see the score at the bottom left, that's why we captured the C flag. We do we do tend to let the enemy team hold the flags because uh, on most occasions, sort of 
That's my halfway score. There's only two players, but we're going to the next round. There's six. But sort of, uh, we try to let the enemy team sort of get um, more points than us because, say, if we capture all the flags, um, everybody, sort of, all my friends that I'm playing with are sort of, everyone's fighting for XP. Uh, like, Nobody's nobody's trying to do anything. Everyone's just trying to beat each other's scores and stuff like that. You know, so it does get quite competitive, and uh, everyone everyone's always trying to beat each other and outdo each other in every single game. So, I mean, there are certain players that aren't really bothered. They're just trying to go for nuclears, but yeah, we do try and uh, beat each other's score in every game that we play. You know, we try try to do better than the game before and stuff like that. But yeah, so say, say if we capture all the flags, um, we do tend to end up just killing and killing the enemy team, like, we don't even let them capture a flag, and it's just ridiculous, because the score limit ends very quick. I don't actually get a kill for like a minute now, I'm not even joking, guys. I finish on quite, I would say, I won't say loads and loads of kills, but I do finish on a lot of kills this game, to hardly any deaths. And right now I'm just running around the map like a headless chicken. Uh, um, I don't actually get a nuclear in this game, guys, right? But if you watch, uh, I think the next kill that I get is... is uh, No, no, it's not yet. I do, I get close, I'm in the mid-map near B. And uh, I kill a guy, he's here right now, I think. And uh, yeah, this guy that I kill here... Uh, as you can see, I just got a brutal up at the top there. Just got a brutal medal, and this is how I die. Watch how I die, guys! Ridiculous. Grenade. Just how lucky am I? This is why I never get nuclears. I just run into a grenade like that. Like, come on, guys! It's just—it's annoying because in this game, I actually got two relentlesses and one brutal. I mean, I know one brutal, so what? But I think at the end of the game I was still on sort of <laughs> on sort of a nuclear streak. So I was quite lucky not to get the nuclear. Uh, there's still quite a lot of time left in this game, guys. I'm not even joking. I think this game is like 12 minutes long. Like, it's such a long game, but the reason being is because we let. You know, they've got two flags at the moment, so we're not really gaining any score. I think I think when it gets to about 180 points, we're both equal on score, but... As you can see, this is what a lot of six-man parties do, or a lot of people try to do on Domination, uh, you know, in order to... <laughs> tired today, man. In order to get a lot of... Uh, a lot of kills and a lot of score. But, you know, obviously it does add that extra minute or two onto the game where, you know, the extra that you have to play, but that, that extra minute or two can help uh, players get nuclears and stuff like that, so that's that's sort of the main reason we like to sort of even out the scores so the game lasts longer, so people are able, you know, because some of the people that I play with aren't, like, aren't as good as sort of me and a couple of my other friends, so they do struggle to sort of get kills and get near nuclears and it does take them like an extra couple of minutes longer to get near their nuclear than it does sort of me and you know a couple of others. Because um, obviously not everyone's good at Call of Duty but anyone can improve at Call of Duty, anyone at all. I generally believe that, that you, c you can only you can improve, but you can only improve to a certain stage. Um, that's the easiest way of explaining it. Like, someone who's got a, let's just say for example, someone who's got a 1KD. You start playing with me on Domination, and I guarantee within a month, you will, uh, you, your gun skill will be a lot better, your uh, reactions may be a bit better, and your map awareness, for sure, will be a lot better than it is. Uh, you'll improve so much as a player. And, uh, you know, I can't guarantee this, but in most cases, in most players that I've ever played with, that's played with me on Call of Duty, 
have uh, improved to become, you know, really good Call of Duty players or just above average Call of Duty players, which is uh, obviously quite good. Securing C. Ooh, excuse me, I'm yawning again. This is very bad. I'm just absolutely shattered. I did go to uh, bed away last night. I'm not even going to mention what day it is or say what date that we're on because I do not know when I'm going to upload this gameplay. So yeah, but I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay and you know enjoy how we play the game and so you can learn a few a few things from you know us and how to play certain maps and. But honestly guys, I should have got so much more kills in this game, but you know, they weren't spawning near me at certain points, certain points of, of this game. I was just running around the map, you know, trying to get XP. I don't think I, I think I get maybe one, two more kills now at the end of the game and then that's it. Uh, we do actually try capturing the air flag right at the, I think it's right now we, we actually try capturing the air flag in a second. And we don't actually manage to do it. I think we're like a split second of capturing it right now. Well, anyway, I'll show you uh, guys the scoreboard. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay anyway, guys. Please comment, rate, and subscribe for more gameplay from XSO 